Hey babes, what's up? It's Haley and welcome back to my channel. We all know that Haley's Pinterest addicted. I am definitely a visual person. When it comes to putting outfits together, I really like to go to Pinterest, Instagram, apps like that for some inspiration. And I know that I'm not the only one. A lot of you guys tend to get your ideas by seeing outfits on other people. So in taking inspiration from these images and wanting to recreate some of these outfits, I went ahead and did my seasonal thrift trip on ThreadUp. It is the world's largest online thrift store. I love shopping all kinds of brands on there from like Brandy Melville to Urban Outfitters to more pricey ones like Free People and Aritzia. They have incredible deals because because everything is up to 90% off the estimated retail price. And for this video specifically, it was so easy for me to go ahead and browse exactly what it was I was looking for because now they actually have a new thrift the look feature, but you can literally find outfits that you like and ThreadUp has links to each of those pieces so you can go ahead and recreate the outfits for yourself super easily. With April also being Earth Month, I highly encourage you guys to go ahead and just try to shop secondhand specifically for this month. Just think about it this way, buying one used item instead of a new item saves enough water so you can make yourself a cup of coffee every single day for the next four years. This is definitely shopping that I could feel good about and I am so excited to show you guys what I got. So make sure to grab a pen and paper, jot down some of these trends if you're curious to try them out. And if you do want to find stuff for yourself, go ahead and check out ThreadUp. I'm going to leave a link down below. You can use my code Haley and it will get you 30% off plus free shipping on your first order. So without further ado, let's get into the haul, let's get into these outfits and let's see what all the Pinterest girls are wearing right now. So as I was scrolling through my Pinterest, I just made sure to like jot down things that I was seeing a lot. One of the things that by far was like overtaking my main page was cargos. And I know a lot of people call them like the parachute pants. I'm not super into like the swish swish parachute pants material, but the big wide cargoes like this, I've been seeing so many really cool outfits with this. And I will say, I am noting that a lot of people were wearing them low rise. I don't know if I can do that because I love my high-waisted jeans. I mean, I'm even wearing my high-waisted jeans right now. I feel like high-waisted jeans are so much more flattering on me. These ones from ThreadUp are actually from the brand J Crew. They are size six tall. I'm like five, five and a half. So I don't have the longest legs, but I personally really like it when my cargoes hit the floor they give that baggier look. These pants were estimated to cost $47. I got them for $21.99. I couldn't help pairing this top with the cargos because it's time to dance and step up. They wore cargos like this all the time, so this couldn't be a more perfect match. And I got it on ThreadUp brand new with tags, which is amazing. For the shoes, I get so many questions on these. These are the Converse High Top Hike Stars. So my thoughts on the low rise, I will say I'm actually really into it. I think I'm going to be wearing this a lot. I do not see me trying these with denim at all. Unless you guys dare me to try it, I don't really see me doing it so I don't know if you guys are curious for me to try it just like let me know down below leave a comment if that's something you'd want to see heading into the next look I actually got a second pair of cargos that I love so much too and they fit really well also these ones from thread up are originally from Abercrombie and Fitch I don't remember the last time that I bought anything from this store but these I surprisingly really loved because they cinch down at the ankle making the whole baggy look really flattering and in this outfit I wanted to go ahead and recreate the denim on denim look the Pinterest girlies oh my gosh my boards were like full of this so much different denim on denim not necessarily like matching denim even a lot of them had like a dark denim bottom and a lighter denim top and then this is a really sick top that i found on thread up it's from armani exchange and it's like a zip up t-shirt denim shirt situation it was estimated to cost 89 dollars. i got this for just 6.99 and i've been seeing crochet bags everywhere especially in this color like look at how many pinterest photos i was able to find with a bag like this orange and blue i really think it's my favorite color combination right now they complement each other really well and i love like the little pop of color that it adds into this outfit. Moving on to another really hot denim piece on Pinterest right now, and that's overalls. Some people have mixed feelings on overalls, but I feel like if you find a pair that fits you well, you're really gonna fall in love with it. I've worn them a ton. They're actually from ThreadUp, originally from Urban Outfitters. I will tell you guys exactly how I was able to find it on the ThreadUp website. As I mentioned, ThreadUp now actually has an entire section called Thrift the Look. Just imagine it as if you guys found a Pinterest photo and then you clicked on a top that you like and it showed you a bunch of links to tops that are similar. That's exactly what this is. Find an outfit that you like and ThreadUp will just show you a bunch of dupes for something so similar to those outfits. I really wanted to do a t-shirt and overalls outfit just like this one. So when I clicked off the overalls on this picture, I got recommended so many and that's how I got paired with my perfect one. They were estimated to cost $95. I just got them for $17. So the girl in the photo had it paired with a white t-shirt. When I checked off the white t-shirt on the photo, I was paired with this one. It's got kind of this like crinkled fabric, which is really popular right now. But I decided to add my own pop of color with a hat and with my green converse, which I love so much. And this is the final look. Definitely go to Pinterest girl going and running her errands, heading to the farmer's market or the grocery store. And I was actually able to style these overalls in a different way as well. I paired it with this Tommy Hilfiger t-shirt that I got off of ThreadUp. Stripes is another thing I'm seeing a ton on Pinterest right now. I really think there's something about this pattern that just makes me really nostalgic of the 90s. That's why I really wanted to wear it with these overalls. Estimated to cost $12, I got this for seven on ThreadUp. Paired underneath the overalls, it definitely gives me a 90s look, especially when I add on this tote bag. This specific one, my 
my friend Rachel made for me. But the t-shirt overall look, such a classic, and I'll never fail you. And if you didn't get enough of overalls already, I actually found another pair that you guys probably saw in the thumbnail. I'm obsessed. I cannot believe that we found these. Look at these incredible Tommy Hilfiger overalls. Shorts version, perfect for spring and summer. I got them on the ThreadUp website for just 25 bucks. I found these by searching up Tommy jeans on the ThreadUp website. I love these. I know already I'm gonna be keeping them forever. I'm gonna pass them down to my daughter when she gets older because this is like a 90s Pinterest staple. Let's move away from denim, shall we? And I wanna talk about a pair of pants that have dominated all year. I mean, I've been seeing this in the fall, in the winter, still in the springtime too, and that is pinstripe pants. And these are not just pinstripe pants. These are flared split hem pinstripe pants. They're originally from the brand Naked. Whenever you have a very tight fitting pant with a flare at the bottom, that's what accentuates your legs even more to give you that extra height. The inspiration of this look was this photo right here. I wish, wish, wish that I found a zebra print top that's like a long sleeve, but I was able to score this incredible zebra print top from the brand Cider. It's like a very, very thick rib knit. It's built really well. The top with the pants on its own is already super cute, but I wanted to add another layer on it. So I added this Brandy Melville button up. It's like a satiny material, but a lot of the girls on Pinterest, just like this one, are wearing an outfit like this with sneakers. They're really dressing them down. I'm here for it because your girl's got a huge sneaker collection and every opportunity I can wear my sneakers, I'm taking it. This bag was estimated to cost $75 on ThreadUp. I just got it for $19.99. This grommet belt detail on it. I mean, I always love grommet belts, especially in my accessories. And then just to show you guys how easy it is to switch things up, I'm keeping my base outfit totally the same here. I paired the denim shirt from earlier earlier with this look along with this navy knit bag from the sack. I need to show you guys this bag because I get questions about my knitted bags and my crochet bags all the time. My friend Sarah actually taught me this tip on ThreadUp. Go on the brand The Sack. They have so many different knitted bags just like this one and so many different colors and patterns. A lot of people are making them handmade but those can get so expensive. So if you do want to get a more affordable option of a knit crochet bag, the sack brand on ThreadUp is definitely the place to check. So taking to my Pinterest homepage, I think one of the most popular shoe trends I'm seeing a lot of the Pinterest girls wearing is square toed shoes. So square toed loafers or square toed heels, square toed boots being my favorite. These brown ones I got on ThreadUp on my last trip, they are probably one of my favorite boots right now. I love the camel color and in this case, I wore with these pants. The slight flared leg paired with these shoes, oh my gosh, my legs look so long. And then for the top, I wanted to incorporate something else I've been seeing a lot and that's halter tops. So this one I thrifted originally from the brand Cider. Estimated to cost $24, I just got it for $14. And I love this almost like periwinkle blue color. So now that I shared my love of the flare on these pants, I really wanted to show you what a flare leg looks like in a pair of denim. These jeans I've worn before in my stories. They're from ThreadUp. You guys are so obsessed with them. They are originally from the brand Anthropology, estimated to cost $140. I just got them for $27. These are one of my favorite pairs of jeans right now. They're a nice dark wash, which I don't have a lot of, but they also fit really high rides, which I really love. Plus they have that flare at the bottom. If you are somebody who loves high-waisted jeans, try them with a flare leg. I personally don't know one person who's tried it and it wasn't flattering on them. They are called the high rise boot cut and these pants are so cool. They have the zipper on the side so there's like no fly at the front. If you want to find a very similar pair of jeans to this, this is what I would do. Go to the thread up section and head on over to the jeans. Once you're there, just scroll down and look for high rise. You can click that off and then if you keep scrolling, you actually see a leg cut and there you could either be sure to check off flare or boot cut. And since you're probably going to ask, this is the top that I paired it with. Again, knit crochet. I've been seeing a lot. This is also from the brand Cider. Okay. I think I found my new favorite store on ThreadUp. Clearly, I bought a lot of the cider stuff. I love the one shoulder cut and all of these colors in the knit. Really great for spring too. I mean, maybe because Coachella is coming up, but my Pinterest board was filled to the brim with Western influenced fashion. And I'm talking fringe. I'm talking boots, obviously cowboy boots, the cowboy hats, like everything cowboy, cowgirl, Western inspired. I have to say that I really didn't think that I would be into this trend at all. But when I was on ThreadUp and I was on the Thrift the Look page, I found this outfit. That is a cool outfit. It looks so good and I really want to recreate that. So I started thrifting pieces matching that outfit exactly. I thought it was going to be a long shot, especially to find a jacket like hers full of that like tassel and fringe. And oh my God, I found something that's like basically identical. I don't even know if it's a jacket or a cardigan, but oh, I kind of feel like a Yeti when I'm wearing this in the best way. Originally from the brand Windsor, this was estimated to cost $117. I just got it for $25. Like the detail on this jacket is 
immaculate. And then the other main thing that I needed in this outfit was the boots. Her boots were like really specific. They weren't necessarily cowboy boots, but they were more riding boots. And these were the ones that I was able to find through the thrift the look feature. And oh my gosh, they are like pretty much identical to hers down to the fact that they're a square toe. Incredible. They were in my size and they were like originally estimated to cost over $200, super expensive. And I was able to score them for just 60 bucks, which is insanely good for a real pair of leather boots. But putting this outfit together, you guys, I pretty much think that we nailed it. Then I went and tried on the same look with my longer flare jeans. And I think this looks really nice together too. Because the jacket makes it so big up top, the denim is kind of able to slim down the hips area a bit and then make the legs look really long, which I love. Even though I slightly feel like a chicken, I also feel like a cute chick. <laughs> I know bad dad jokes are a thing, but are bad mom jokes a thing too? Because I think I'm getting there. Okay, for the next look, I wanted to go a little hard with the Western vibes again. I found this pair of jeans that I need to show you guys because they are probably the coolest jeans I've ever seen. Brand new with tags originally from the brand Jordach Vintage. So you would see them and you would think that they were a dark denim, right? But then, bam, they're a light denim on the back. How cool are these? Estimated to cost $34. I got them for $12.99. Two-tone denim, definitely cool. And for this look, I wanted to incorporate another Western element that I'm seeing a lot on Pinterest and that's fringe. I was able to find this like really cool fringe of vest. It's a brown suede with like the little details here at the bottom. I wore it with the jeans and then the brown boots because these tones just like look so good together. It's a little bit hard because I really want to go ahead and try these trends but sometimes I feel like I'm wearing a costume. Do you feel me? I really don't know how a lot of these girls on Pinterest pull off such cool pieces but I think it's all about trial and error and trying them with like different outfit combinations. I do need a bit more practice with it but I mean these are still such cool pieces to try and experiment with which again it's the whole point experimenting with clothes experimenting with fashion it's something i want to do a lot more this year what i also love is lately i'm really becoming unapologetically experimental with my wardrobe i used to just care so much about what people would say about certain outfits that i would pair together and i really feel like now i'm at a point where i'm like having so much fun with my style and i'm experimenting with things that may work things that may not work if there's ever any pieces that i try out and maybe aren't for me thread up has an incredible return policy too so i never regret putting in that order because sometimes Sometimes those pieces that I'm like kind of iffy about end up being such gems in my wardrobe that so many people ask me about and really notice me for. So with all that, if there's anything you guys can take from this video, it's have fun with your wardrobe. Try to use trends in a positive way rather than forcing you to throw out everything that you have. Maybe incorporate like one or two new styles every season to see if it's something that suits you. I mean, high rise bottoms at some point were a hardcore trend and now it's become a staple that I still wear it years later. So with that little spiel, I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to give it a really big thumbs up if you did. And I will have ThreadUp linked for you guys down below. Again, be sure to use my code Haley, and it will get you an extra 30% off plus free shipping your first ThreadUp order. I know that every Pinterest board is customized to the person, so I want to know what kind of person you are. Let me know down below what you're seeing on your Pinterest boards, what colors, what styles, what fabrics, what trends. I'm like so curious to know how all of our aesthetics differ in what we see. And just remember, you guys, don't strive to be a Pinterest girl. You are a Pinterest girl. But with that, there's nothing wrong from taking inspiration to others. We all learn from each other. That's the beauty of fashion and this fashion community too. Be sure to follow me on Instagram if you guys don't already. I love you forever and always. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys on my next one.